Koholo Yahabashimi on Shabashimi Kakadash, the bounce of the apostles, the bounce of the elders, a great most on Ruel and Tosses truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there, this preaching his word in truth and sincerity throughout the folk on earth. Tabernacle David, hopeful Lek, and Speckle Bird, and one say Shalom. So I just want to do this quick lesson, man. Uh, you know, kind of lay back on um, what the elder had brought out, you know, because I, I had already had this uh, queued up in my notes, you know, for me to do a lesson on uh, Shia LaBeouf and uh, these other Babylonians, all right? Now, Shia LaBeouf, he, he could be an Israelite. I felt as though he could be an Israelite, but um, it just goes to show you, you know, what I've seen, what you see in uh, Hollywood, especially down here in Babylon. Uh, hey, you a Jake, man. Hey, you definitely got to do the most wicked shit, man. That's, that's how I kind of see it, man. You know, they uh, put Jake as uh, effeminate and Esau as masculine for the most part. But, hey, this is Esau Eno's world. And, you know, hey, he wants all men for the most part to be effeminate, man. And that goes against the scriptures. And right, that's why we need... Yahweh Bashemel Shah, that's why we need a kingdom, man, for true order to be established, man. I'm gonna get this real quick. It's Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Milk scripture. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto Yahweh thy power. Alright, and this is an abomination. For a man to wear a dress. Let me get it. All right, for a man to wear a dress, for a man to uh, be in drag, being effeminate, all right, he got the heels on, you know, hey, this is Babylon, man, this is confusion, this is the rulership of the Edomites, because as the elder has went through, you know, if you have not watched the video, go watch the video, man, and hey, this is Rome all over again, man, this is spiritually Rome all over again, all right, yeah, one of the Caesars, which I'm gonna go ahead and read it, he read it as well, um, <laughs> Born into the original Petronian families of Rome around 100 BC, Julius Caesar married the daughter of Lucius Cornelius Cena in 84 BC, served in the military two years, acted as a prosecutor advocate in 78 BC, and was on his way to Rhodes when he was captured by pirates. He paid his ransom and crucified his captives. Caesar was elected consul in 58 BC and over the next eight years subjugated all of Gaul to the Roman rule all right hey don't that sound like Babylon the Great America all right hey this is the uh, Babylon America this is the revised Roman Empire man described by Setunius as an unbridled and extravagant in his entre ent how do you say that slacky, y'all? Caesar was known to his soldiers to be every man's woman and every woman's man. A feminine. All right. So he's laying down with men. He's laying down with women. And this is confusion, man. And this is what Babylon pushes. All right. This is how we know we in the rulership of the Edomites. Because for the most part, these other nations, they don't really get down like that, man. All right, this is this is the wine of Babylon that the other nations have drunk it, and as you see, you know these other nations have taken up the uh, uh, attributes of Babylon, and, and now their men is effeminate, now their women is manly, man, out of order. All right, but yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to get out there, man. As you see, Shia LaBeouf on recognizable. Nazable in full drag on set of new movie. Whatever this new movie is, man. Hey, they did you dirty, man. You wanted to come back in Hollywood or you want to come back in the limelight. You know, you went from <laughs> the Transformer. Now it's the trans, man. You know? <laughs> All right. Hey, this is a, it's a horrible way to go. And like I said, dude could be an Israelite, man. And with Esau, you know, you know his spirit may know. Well, really, he, don't, he ain't spiritual, man. But, you know, he might watch the brother's videos, you know, and get back to one of these Hollywood producers and like, oh, man, you, you is like, oh, yeah, yeah, you, you got to wear this dress, man. You got to come in full drag. You know, that's just me speaking as a man, you know, because I could feel like 
Once again, just me speaking as a man, you know, them in Hollywood, they they may know who's a Jake and who's not, man. Like, hey, you got to do some extra wickedness. Hey, you got to be effeminate, man. Once again, just me speaking as a man. <laughs> All right. But as you see through, man, through. All right. That's a horrible fall, man. Horrible fall. And uh, matter of fact, I want to get this dude right here. Adam Lambrian says facing. I'm going to just say phobia early in his career pushed him to be as alphabet as he can effing can be. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. And that's why we got to get the heck up out of here because this type of this type of behavior. Matter of fact, the scriptures speak of woe unto thee when thy king is a child. All right. And he saw Edom as a child, man. You can't rebuke him. You can't correct him. All right. You tell him you going off. He don't want to hear that. All right. Matter of fact, uh, Dave Chappelle the other day or today, you know, one of his some of his fans got a uh, egg by the Transformers, you know, and all he was doing was just telling the truth, man. So you can't even tell the truth to these people, man. You don't want to thee who call it good evil and evil good, man. And that's Babylon, man. I'm gonna get this real quick. Uh, First Corinthians six and verse nine: Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of power? Be not deceived. Neither the fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers. All right, hey, wasn't uh, Julius Caesar Caesar a uh, uh, adulterer? Wasn't he effeminate? It says nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. So man laying down with men. All right, the Lord pretty much. Named it the same thing, you know, effeminate, all right, and laying down with men, and that's what Babylon pushes. That's what Babylon wants men to be. Matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, they got chemicals in the water and the foods and stuff to make men more effeminate for men not to uh, be as fertile. Shoot, they do that with the women as well. You know, hey, this place gotta go, man. You know, all that in the name of population control because. We are under the rulership of Esau Edom, the wicked, man. Let's see. Embryon Lamp may be celebrating his first movie role, but he is still processing the backlash he's faced after his first time on American Idol 14. You're irrelevant, man. You know, what I see from a lot of these dudes, you know, to get back in the limelight, you know, Esau Edom, hey, just like Lil Nas X, hey, man. You want to get that fame, want to get that fortune? Hey, you got to do this, man. And part of that, hey, you got to be effeminate. <laughs> I don't even want to read all that, man. It just it just makes you angry. Just looking at these damn devils, man. If it don't make you angry, not seeing how they move, if it, if it don't make you angry, man, you, you probably in a scary place. You probably not going to make it, man. Let me get this scripture real quick. This is uh, Romans. 1 in verse 24 wherefore power also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts you see that so you going about the lust of your own hearts matter of fact you're the basis of men you're the base of base men you're the top base men so these type of actions disgust us but we shouldn't be surprised man because this is how Esau Edom moves man he lays down with man matter of fact the uh uh, um, Christmas man You know Around tr Christmas time That's how Esau Edom got down Alright which I may play the video I may not but uh, I know I did a video Earlier this year or Last year whatever man You know you can look it up Matter of fact look up the boondocks uh, Boondocks uh, Explain the Christmas just look that up man Alright Because what they did man but Esau Edom, how Esau Edom moves, man, he's laying down with other men and, he, and he's beating his wife. <laughs> All right. Men laying down with men. And that's that's pretty much a celebration, man. That's why we get on you, Jake's, you know, because y'all y'all want to celebrate Esau Edom's traditions, man. That's that's what you're doing, man. Uh, dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth? A power into a lie. You know, you got these Christian pastors. 
you know, and uh, a lot of them effeminate, man. You got effeminate Christian pastors. It's in the alphabet of trans, whatever, man. <laughs> Preaching, you know, or saying that uh, God's with that. Lord's not with that, man. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever on men. You know, you got Jake out there. Oh, man, the universe, the universe, man. Get the hell up out of here with all that. It's all praises unto Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Right? For this cause, power gave them up to vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And what you into, brother, dude, all right, is against nature. And likewise, also the men also leaving the natural use of the woman, burning the lust, man. This is lust. This is not, this is not actual uh, 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 love, man. All right. One towards another, men with men, working that which is unseeming and receiving in themselves a recompense of their error, which was met. And, you know, it's a lot of jakes, man. They be on their hospital beds, dying from uh, AIDS and various, various diseases that comes with this lifestyle, man, because you're not supposed to be getting it. I'm going to just say it like that, getting it with another man. All right. And that's what they push. Let me see if I go back to this. Uh, we might read a little bit of this, man. Whew. Yeah, we we got to get the heck up out of here, man. This is uh, the why that pulls up. This is uh, 2 Peter 2 and verse um, 6. I'm just go ahead and get to the point. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with the overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. So Esau Edom has done his research. All right. He can go over there to the areas where Sodom and Gomorrah was at. All right. Those five cities. Them being overthrown by the Lord. And he knows what happens, man. He knows that it's real. Okay. But at, at the same time, hey, the Lord got him in his trick bag, man. You know, he <laughs> he's carnal. Thinking that his house is, shall continue forever, man. That's the scripture speak of. You know, it's roughly paraphrasing. Um Yeah, man, you you know that you know that Sodom and Gomorrah is real. And you know, since you living in the same lifestyle, you pushing in the same lifestyle, you know, that's what comes with worshiping Satan, man. And guess what? Satan works. For Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Okay. Satan works for Yahweh by Shemel Shah. And so guess what? Satan is moving you unto destruction, man. Controlled by the Lord. Hey, it's all it's all written through the books, man. You're going to lose. You're going to be destroyed. You're going to go into captivity. That's thus say the Bible, man. I don't know this being a damn demon, man. Hold on, let me... See if that pulls up, man. If it pulls up, it pulls up. If it don't, it don't. I'm not mind taking all day. Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just go over here, man. So back to it. Yeah. So you had a. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> like the brother said, you made me feel like a natural, non-binary, non-binary person, man. Through. Come on, man. You know this. Saying that you're a natural woman or natural man, you know, it's as the brother had quoted, man. Which we'll go ahead and get that, man. This place, this place is through. It's showing you the signs that it's through. It's the cane, it's rotting, and it's 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 ripe to be overthrown, man. It's ripe to be overthrown. Give me one second while I pull up that scripture, man. One second, everything want to act slow at the same time. Give me one second. All right, so this is Isaiah 5 and verse 20. As the brother had quoted, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. All right. And that's what he saw Edom is doing. Plain and simple. Right in front of your eyes, Jake, man. All right. This is the life. This is the kingdom that you want to uh, uh, be in. 
you know, this goes to show you still in slavery, man. You still in captivity, right? Because they don't want you uh, to profess that you're a real man. They want everybody to be uh, uh, to go with the flow, be down with the get down with everything, man. Every wayward doctrine, every you know, men with men, women with women. You know, hey, everybody lay down with everybody. You know, you want to get rid of uh, traditional values, man. All right. And guess what? The Lord is going to destroy this place, man. The Lord is going to do it. All right? Because as you see right here, we're getting closer and closer to the uh, uh, MOTB, man. U.S. state representatives hints at another run at digital IDs, man. The stage is being set. So this kingdom is ripe for destruction, man. It's ripe for destruction, man. All right, let me go back to this other scripture. Um, back to um, 2 Peter 2 and verse 4. Sorry, not verse 4, verse 7. And delivered just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. All right, we're vexed, man. If you're not vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, you know, them getting rid of traditional values, okay, you're probably not going to make it. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day in their unlawful deeds. All right. Day to day in their unlawful deeds, man. It's like every day these people getting worse and worse and worse, man. The Lord know if this is verse nine, the Lord know if how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished so this dude is being reserved if he ain't getting knocked out before jt jacob's trouble or hey he's being reserved from the nuclear missiles and when he wake up wakes up as a newborn baby and hey, he he gonna be back in chains man <laughs> all right this is acts 3 and verse 23 it shall come to pass that every soul which will not here are the prophets. We out there on the highways and byways prophesying against Melsir, prophesying against these people, man. All right. Shall be destroyed from among these people. So if Jake don't take heed, Jake don't get it right. You know, you may not be in this lifestyle, but, you know, you not taking a stand for the Lord. Hey, you might as well be standing with the wicked. Because, yeah, you're going to be judged with the wicked. All right. Job 18 and verse 5. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out and the spark of his fire shall not shine. That's what we're waiting for, man. All right. For these people's mouths to be shut up. <laughs> Proverbs 16 and verse 4. The Lord that made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. You being reserved for the day of evil, man. Everyone that's proud in heart. Oh, I'm going to be as <laughs> gay as I can be, man. <laughs> All right, you proud in heart. All right, all right. Thou says, "Is abomination unto you. How, though hand joined in hand, he shall not be unpunished, man." So, hey, even if you try to hold hands with him, hey, guilty by association. That's what Jake is going to get, man. Once again, you may not be in that lifestyle, but you like, hey, it's, it's you know how Jake be. Hey, as long as they ain't uh, you know bothering me, well they. Hey, they bothering you, man. They intruding on you, man. All right? They intruding. They want, they teaching your kids. Hey, they bothering you. They want everybody to be in this lifestyle. You got men twerking for little kids, man. Who, who still have trouble going to the bathrooms by themselves. Think about that, man. All right? So, yeah, we, we got to be out of here, man. Matter of fact, I get Isaiah 1 and 9. Except the Lord Yahweh by Shemiel Shah of hosts have left unto us a very small remnant. We should have been in Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah, man. Hey, the Lord could have overthrew us, man. We all could have been in this lifestyle, you know, choosing the ways of the wicked, man. Hey, but the water y'all by Shemiel Shah for that remnant, man. Lord, when we of those men and we make it and we see. The overthrow, the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom, man. Cause this place gotta go, man. I'm vexed. I'm tired of looking at it, man. I'm tired of seeing it, man. It gotta go. 
with that, Shalom.